Yeah, what's going on? Got your boy, Quan John. You know, Force Mistakes. Say what up, what up? Hey, hey. Back at you, Motivation Motives, where we speak to interesting black people who've overcome adversity and route to prosperity. We got Miss Jasmine Branford, an author, entrepreneur. And like I said, she has authored the book, Millennial Invasion, Discovering Yourself Through Network Marketing. Say what up, Jasmine. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're going to get into this book. We're going to get into the development of the book, the creation and its objective. You know what I mean? So my first question, Jasmine, is, are you a millennial? I'm a millennial. Yes, I am. We not. I know, you know, they say it's impolite to ask a woman her age. So you would be in the Generation Y, right? Yeah. All right. So, yeah. so they say Generation Y is what, 1980 to 1997? Am I correct? Or yeah, correct I'm me? Right in that. Yep. Yep, you got it. Look at you. All right. All you right. So, I mean, oh, I didn't I'm even Generation know. X. I'm the right, 93. So. I'm the 93. A lot of people think, you know, the millennials is just the younger generation. They feel like once not you hit a certain age, you're not a millennial no more. And I let I let people think that. Right, so, I still came right. to the younger generation as well. Right. Right. My wife is actually, my wife is a big young man. My wife is a millennial. She's one of the elder millennials, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and the wiser ones. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, yeah, yeah, definitely the wiser ones. And and you know what? Me and my wife actually, I think maybe a two weeks ago before we started speaking online, we started looking at the generations because my wife didn't know what the baby boomers were. No, no, my wife, she she knew someone else didn't know. I think it was my little cousin because uh -huh. my cousin falls into Generation Z. You understand? Right, right. That's the newest generation, generation, right? Yeah. And they call themselves millennials. Too, so. Really but not they a millennial. Still, they, they I noticed up. that. Like people who were born in like the early two thousands claim to be millennials, but they're not. Yeah, they nah. They're not. They're not. Those those are, those are young butts. Those are the um, those are the people that's gonna be leaders leaders of the world when we old. You understand? Right. <laughs> For real. It's they're true. gonna they're gonna be the leaders when we're kind of old. Seriously, you know what so I mean? Millennial. Okay, tell me one more time before we move on. Millennial is from nineteen eighty. You said. To ninety seven, to nine to nineteen ninety seven. Right. Ooh, I so basically, so basically, um, what is it? A a a, a twenty three year old is at the end of millennial, but a forty year old is at the beginning. Right. You understand? Yeah. Okay. You no, know, for real. But yo, check it out. So let us know what is this millennial invasion book entail? How did you have the epiphany of writing it? Let's get down to the basics, for real. So it all started with me. I first started in the network marketing industry, okay? It was, wasn't until my grandmother called me one day when I was in class, and she was like, Jasmine, I need you to get in this business. And I had no clue what the business was. You know, I was just telling people I was being an obedient granddaughter, and I got into this business, and I didn't know so much about wealth, personal development, breaking generational curses, Learning how to, you know, have different points of distribution. You know, you want to have multiple points of distribution. So many people are afraid of sales. Mm -hmm. And I had a product that was travel. I first started in the travel industry. And I remember wanting to go to an event to get better. I just want to get better at my craft. I just want to get better at my profession. And that's pretty much where the coaching had first, first started. But I want to get better with my, my profession. And I went to this Get Motivated event and this man, he stepped on stage. He said, if you really want to brand, if you really want to brand yourself, you need to write a book. And I was like, I'm not writing a book because one of my friends told me, hey, have you ever thought about writing a book? I said, no, I went to school for math and science for a reason. I went to school to study computer science. I'm not okay. writing a book. Gotcha. And he did this full blown presentation of all these celebrities who have books. And he was like, rich people don't have business cards. They have books. If you want to learn how to write a book that you need, this is where you want to start to help build your brand. So mm -hmm. I went to the class. I took the class. And he was like, write about your business. So I was like, well, I got to write about network marketing because that's the only business that I, I ever knew about at the time. Mm -hmm. And at first, my title, my subtitle, I knew it was going to be something with millennial because that's my passion. I have a passion for just young people getting a, a concept of who they are. The younger mm -hmm. they get a, a concept of who they are, it's going to be harder for the world to try to detail who, the, who they will become. That's right. So I decided to call it Millennial Invasion because Millennial Takeover was already taken. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so I decided to go with Millennial Invasion. I said, at first it was going to be rank up and bank up through network marketing. But then I said, no, network marketing didn't really teach me how to get a whole lot of money. What it, what it taught me was to really discover myself, to really mm-hmm. uncover the talents that was already inside of me. Like network marketing pushes the entrepreneur that you didn't even know existed. I didn't know I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I was going to school for computer science. I didn't know I liked networking with people. I just wanted to work on machines and I had to talk to people. But I right. love people. I didn't realize like, oh my God, you're an extrovert. And this whole time you've been trying to tell yourself you're an introvert. You know, mm-hmm. you try to, you thought that your gift was to be behind cubicle sales when no, your gift is to actually network and speak life into people and, and, and bring out the best in people. Right. And I would have never discovered that if I didn't just take a chance, be obedient and step into network marketing. So I wanted to just teach the people how this industry has opened my eyes mm. to so much than what they try to make me believe what the American dream is. What exactly is the object? Okay, there you go. There you go. Wait, show us, show us. Millennial <laughs> invasion. That's oh, you right. rocking that dress, though. I'm just here. Yo, I, I told her off camera, that dress is dope right there. <laughs> for real. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I, mean, I might you. snatch one of those up for my wife, for real. You understand? <laughs> for real. What yeah. exactly is the objective of network marketing? So network marketing is pretty much, you could start a business. Because it's so it breaks up into different outlets. Okay. So some people know it as MLM. You know, those will call it pyramid schemes and we already know so many different businesses like um avon mary Kay, you know mm-hmm. uh, those type of businesses like right. you know, tlc so mine's was travel you know a lot of people knew about um you should be here but mine's was vacation the, the business that i actually started out was vacation okay. i got paid right um it was one of the smartest decisions I ever made because I couldn't sit still once I started getting commissions for my own trips, you know, and I grew up traveling. So it made sense. So a lot of people, you know, they, they like to call it pyramid schemes and there are a lot, a lot of scammers out there, but a lot of people didn't realize like at 22, 23, I was getting a nice little refund check because I was able to write off so much on my taxes. Cause I had over 500, 500 different outlets of business tax write off because of the network marketing industry. Get out of here. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, they got upset with Trump because oh, Trump, he, he don't pay taxes because he was a he had a business strategy. He has going a business. Mm-hmm. And talk that talk. A lot of people in the network marketing industry had benefited from it when he had gave us more outlets to write more things off on our taxes. Right. So, so basically, so this is for the viewers because I mean, you know, we we've we've had politic and political episodes and segments, and um, we talk about you know the whole. You know who to vote for because some black people feel as though and these are people that just don't know that if you're black you have to go democrat and that's not the case you understand mm-hmm. you should vote for the person that's benefiting you specifically and yeah a person might not like trump's character but if he benefits your business why not vote for him right right excellent uh, it, it so check, so deep. So check it out from it. Um, <laughs> but yes so you said, oh, I want to ask you this question about the vacation type thing. So how, because there might be somebody looking at this right now and say, hey, how can I get paid for traveling? What's that about? Yes, you can become a travel consultant, a travel ambassador, however they want to juice it up. Okay. And what they'll do, I mean, we don't merge into something else now because that's how the industry goes. It just keeps on revolving. But um, you can enroll as a travel ambassador. And when now that you're a, a tied to an actual mm-hmm. travel agent's, you know, code, whatever code that they use, then you can start booking your travel as an insider to save money. Or you can book it as a um, as a person on the outside, as a customer, and you can get commission off of it. So mm-hmm. everywhere that I was traveling to, I was tur- that was my business. So every so I pretty much turned my vacation to, into a business. Now that right. you're a travel agent, I have to go test out the waters. I got to make sure that the waters is good. Right, my right. clients got to make sure the margaritas taste the way how they're supposed to taste. You know, <laughs> I got to make sure that the pillows going to smell like lavender like they promised. That's right. You know, it's called research. And development for your for your business. Mm-hmm. So I was just literally traveling, and every time when I came home, they sent me a commission for it, and I was able to write it off on my taxes a hundred percent. Wow! So, real, my fourth portion. I'm going to cut you off. I just got one last question because I know we have a lot of millennials that are probably watching this, saying, "Yo, 
I don't got no kids right now. I don't got, you know, I don't got no spouse or nothing like that. I'm out of school and I'm broke. How would someone start that? What would be the first step into becoming a, you know, a person that's involved in vacationing? You just invest into the company. You just invest into the company. So certain people have different prices. You know, some of them charge a thousand. Some people charge five hundred. Some people charge only a hundred dollars. Maybe like I think they went up to probably like one fifty now. So do your research on network marketing companies that have that have travel because so many companies offer so many different outlets. Mm. You invest low and you get a high return. Mm. A lot of people think, oh, I don't want to pay no monthly fee. Well, if you want to start a business and y'all entrepreneurs, y'all let me know, even if you're an entrepreneur, you have to invest into your business in order for it to become a tax. Absolutely. Right exactly. I don't want to have to pay no monthly fee. That's your overhead to run your business. Absolutely. You can't write it off on your taxes if you're not paying no overhead. So people like mm -hmm. at the time, I think it was paying like, OK, the most somebody will pay right now is about ninety nine dollars a month. You mean to tell me that you can't invest twelve hundred dollars in a whole entire year, only nine nine dollars a month, so that way you can write your phone, your cell phone off, on everything, your taxes, travel your bill off on your taxes, your gas Food. off on your taxes, your drag if, Even if you have a tax, okay, if you gonna feed these dogs, use it as a tax write off. People don't that's right. realize that's homeland security. But how is it affected because of COVID? It has slowed it's down, working. but people love to still travel they still travel they still travel you can still travel domestically and people still travel internationally right. how do i know because i'm a flight attendant and the flights are the planes are full ma'am this person sitting next to me yeah this person want to go to the same destination you want to go to so you can catch the next flight or you could just keep your mask on and get there these covid not slowing these people down as much as we think they are right the right. one that's living in fear they missing out but I haven't stopped working since COVID been happening. And I thank God that I have been COVID free since the beginning of this. So just do what you need to do. Live by faith and take your butt off. I still That's try. Right. Totally agree. <laughs> like as long as you're careful, still do you. Still do your thing. Right. That's right. Do your thing. Um, do your thing. Just so be I, positive. Don't be as close, but still right. do your thing. Right. But it's social distancing, right? No, not my fault. Physical distancing. It's not social distancing because right now we're social distancing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it's, it's about physical distancing that they say right. protection from COVID. But that's another topic for another podcast. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. um, so the book, what, if, if a millennial picks up this book, what do they get out of it? They're going to understand up. purpose. They're going to understand how to find their purpose at an early age. They're going to understand entrepreneurship at an early age because everybody don't have the funds to start a, a, a you know, a, a storefront business. That's so they're right. going to understand, wow, if I want to start a business, I can start with the network marketing industry. If I want to be able to travel, I can start with the network marketing industry. If I want to be able to get tax write-offs, I can start with the network marketing industry. If I want to get uncomfortable because I'm shy at talking to people, I can start with the network marketing industry because people don't realize y'all overhead comes with mentorship training it comes with people just pouring into you because they want to see you in this is not your corporate america jobs like crabs in a bucket network marketing is designed to where you can't get paid unless you help other people get paid that's right that that's that's basically the way of the world actually i, I don't know why i leave a taste a bad taste in a lot of folks mouth but uh, in my opinion why it leaves a bad taste in their mouth because um those are the people that um don't know what legacy, how legacy is created. Okay, mm -hmm. those are the people that don't know that their predecessors paved the way for them to be sitting where they're sitting, and mm -hmm. it's their duty and their job to pave the way for their children and their grandchildren to sit where they want them to sit in the castle. You don't want your, you, know you don't want your kids to sit in the project. You want them to sit in the castle. Madam C.J. Walker started her MLM, and people don't even realize it. She got distributors and people to sell her products. Right. That's MLM. So I'm like, y'all, it's a system that's already in us. And that was a very interesting movie. Black people, look at the what is Madam CJ Walker. Look at that. Look at that movie I meant. Look at that movie. It's very interesting. I was stuck. I thought I was just gonna look at part one. I looked at the whole thing in its entirety in one day. Really good. I think it's on Netflix, right, Jasmine? Okay, yeah, so, self-made. Is it self-made or something like that? With Octavia Spencer. Dope. For real, really dope. I got the name of it, but yes, they'll they'll find. Google the name. No, I think it's um, it's self made, right? 
It is self-made, yeah. Self-made, yeah. Really I dope. I liked it because it touches the dynamics of her own, of her life, not just the um the entrepreneurial endeavors. It t it touches the, the the relationships, and people don't understand. Which Jazz, I know you can attest to this. Business is about relationships, is it not? You have to build a relationship before you can even close a deal. With Absolutely. Something.